everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Amy and I am a first time mum with a baby due this month, which is so crazy, so exciting. Um, today I am 38 weeks and 5 days, so I've really not got long left to go. So yeah, just thought I'd give you an update over the last sort of two weeks of how I've been feeling and the symptoms I've been having as well uh, because I love watching these videos so I thought I'd do my own okay so um, 30 when I turned 37 weeks it was the week running up to Christmas so I turned 37 weeks on the 22nd yeah 22nd of December and I was just so excited, like, to get to 37 weeks, you know, baby is full term. And it was just really exciting. I was excited for Christmas. I was a bit sort of, like, nervous because I had so much to do ready for Christmas. Um, but I was just really excited. I had, like, lots of, pack lots of sort of, like, wrapping to do and I was quite busy. I had quite a lot of energy when I was 37 weeks. I think it was because I was just so giddy for Christmas. Um, so yeah, so 37 weeks. My breathlessness had sort of, has sort of died down. I still do get a bit breathless, but not as much as I have done previously. I was getting... I was still getting heartburn, but I don't know if that was because I've been eating rubbish um, over the Christmas period. Uh, again, sleep... Sleep can be quite tricky at times. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I do have a like a good night's sleep, whereas other nights I just just can't get comfy. I, you know, I'm do you know, I'm having to find a comfortable position and then rolling over. It's just it's just it can be difficult, you know, being heavily pregnant, trying to find a comfortable position. Sort of like an urge to sort of like clean as well, but I mean, I have been having that quite a lot. I just want everything to be perfect and want the whole house to be tidy and trying to relax as much as possible. So, yes, yeah, so when I was 37 weeks and one day, I went to the midwife and she listened to baby's heartbeat, which again is just so lovely to hear. <laughs> is absolutely fine she just basically said baby will come and baby will come he'll come when baby's ready uh, so yeah I'm just really excited so um, so now I'm 38 weeks and 38 weeks this week has been a bit more difficult for me because I've just been so tired constantly tired I haven't put makeup on apart from a little bit of mascara on to today, but I haven't been, I haven't had the energy to really do anything. I've just been so tired. I haven't been sleeping at all. I haven't been sleeping nowhere near as well as I had the week before. I have been getting sort of like on and off sort of like cramps and lower back pain i think the main thing i've struggled with this week is just being like so tired today is the first day i felt a bit like myself so that's always nice been on a walk this morning which i really enjoyed i love fresh air and i've also been uh i've also felt like i've been a little bit like happy emotional like i watched some, like a youtube video on like a bit story or labour video and I just start crying um you know I'll find out someone someone that we know had a baby and I've just started crying like I don't know why I think it's because I I know that will be me very very soon but I have found myself being a little bit more emotional as I have been in the past but like happy emotional but yeah again I've just been trying to relax uh, especially as I've not been able to do much more and also we moved into the tier 4 category with Covid which was yeah it, it was a little bit upsetting because you know having to think forward I don't know when my family will meet baby 
and it is quite upsetting but I suppose it is in everyone's best interest in the area that we're in to keep everyone safe. I got an exercise ball for Christmas off my mother-in-law and I love it. So I've been bouncing on that a lot. I do feel as well that my bump has dropped a little bit. I, I still think it is a little bit high but I don't know whether it's just sort of baby's position or I could be completely wrong but in the past my stomach has just been completely hard like it's been really hard but like the whole of it but I felt like it's a bit squidgy at the top now and I'm feeling a lot more sort of cramps a bit lower down now and again on and off but we'll just see what happens but I just can't wait yeah I just I need to try, I think, to think of something else as well because of some days it feels like it's never going to happen, baby's never going to be here. And I think it's because we're in like kind of lock we're in like a lockdown at the moment. So I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not really doing much or thinking about anything else other than I can't wait for baby to be here. Um so yeah, so I have been trying to take my mind off it a little bit just because I don't want time to go slow. <laughs> I am embracing though, you know, the final days or weeks um, without without being a parent. And but yeah, thirty eight weeks for me has been quite tough. However, today, thirty eight weeks and five days has been. Uh, I've been okay today. So yeah. Oh, and also have been getting. Um, more headaches and I don't know whether that's just because of lack of sleep or if it's got anything to do with me being pregnant I don't know and one of the days I was um I woke up a little bit dizzy but overall you know I have had it I have had it quite well but tiredness struggled with but yeah thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time bye